This is old camp. And not a spring ticket. As most of you already know, today is July 1st, and it's a date for the hands-free law here in California, as well as Washington. Washington and other states. So we want to expand on part of that. We've already done a feature on the hands-free law, which you may want to look at, because that will actually give you more detail. But we want to add some more things to it, because there's always something new to add on that, isn't there? Yeah, well, first to quote a Monty Bowman from just a few days ago, just because you can doesn't mean you should. Just because you can go hands-free doesn't mean you should even be using a cell phone to begin with the car. And why not? Why not? Well, because according to the study, okay, here's one of them. They're saying that talking on the cell phone in the car is worse than driving drunk. Right. Okay, and a lot of you with the 4th of July coming up, I've had to wear this, JC. It's cognac. Yeah. It's Jacques Cartier. I'm wearing my, uh, you know, life or death hat because 4th of July, I mean, it's coming up, it's going to be Friday of this week, and people are going to be drinking, they're going to be driving, and they're going to be using cell phones. Three bad things to be doing on the court. Those, those are all really bad, and they're probably tired because they've been out in the sun, so expect a lot more law enforcement out there. Yeah, actually... Do you think? There, okay, there's going to be more enforcement out where you don't expect them to be this year. Now, why would that be? Because there's uh, less money for gasoline, so they're going to be marshalling their forces where they know they can get you. Oh, so if you're going to a bar if and you're, you're, you're walking to your car, it's all parked in an area. If you're going to a fourth celebration, a public fourth celebration, if you're going to a sporting event, count on the police to be there. Yeah. Absolutely count on them to be there. And include extra time to go through the police barricades That's because right. they may be checking. And they're, you know, even though it's a means of getting extra revenue for the areas the police are in, it's actually, a, it, if the more they slow you down, the better off you are because you're going to get a time to recover from whatever you don't want them to know about. It's also a deterrent to other people won't be doing They, that. If they see the police sitting there, they're going to go drink and drive. That's good. Right. It's a really good But they're system. already, they're, they're still using the cell phones with hand, you know, they're using, the, you know, they're not using hands free, they've got it stuck in their ears. We've seen them go with that today. Well, you know, and there's a few little variations on the lot. First of all, here's cell phones in the car. It's hands-free cell phone rules for drivers in California to take effect. But there are states that currently already have laws. Some are hands-free, some have an age. Like they ban any cell phone use by drivers younger than 18 years old. And some will ban text messages by driver. This is from the National Conference of State Legislatures. Right now, basically, there's only four states that really have hands-free. And this is courtesy of the L.A. Times. Yeah. So, you know, the L.A. Times does do some good things, folks, even though they are to the left of everything. Well, they do have some really good things on there. Yeah. But that's, again, the source is the National Conference of State Legislatures. Yeah. But if you're in your state, know what your state's laws are. Yeah, and to put it this way, if you don't use hands-free, they're going to ban the use of cell phones, period, across this nation in cars. Now, that would be really bad. Well, because it is a matter, insurance, the, uh, what is it, the National Insurance Council says uh, that you, uh, using cell phones in a car, basically anything that distracts you from driving is not good, and using cell phones distracts you. I mean, you hear that ring, you, you, okay, you, do. you do it. I mean, you can't uh, help it. Okay, your hands-free will tell you, miss call, miss call. I know. <laughs> yeah, I get, and uh, you know, it's the same thing. Microsoft, we saw some really neat things on the Flex Automobile The Microsoft supplies Ford with, but it's all touch screen. If you're busy touching the screen, one hand is not on the steering wheel. Well, the same thing goes if you're eating, you're, you're putting on makeup, you're shaving, you're smoking. That's right. You have one hand on the kit. You know, everybody. <laughs> Anything that's a distraction. Everybody. Eats and drives. Unfortunately, everybody drinks and drives. I mean, you see the police department. We're not. We're not talking know. about alcoholic beverages. No, Although we're talking going, do that anyway. going to a fast food place, and you know, here comes six helicopters, and they're coming down low. It's what a swimsuit will do for you. But, you know, Although I'm covered up here. <laughs> yeah. You know, but uh, the, like I said, just because you can legally use a cell phone in a car with uh, hands free, with an earpiece, with uh, What's the device you have in your car? Uh, oh, 
the, um, the Bluetooth, it's by Next, NXT. NXT, that's and a, it's, awesome. it's a really awesome thing because you it's can also Bluetooth use wireless. it. wireless. Yeah, you can use it as a speaker too, if you want to, but still, it distracts you because, you know, it, you know, like I said, if it's just like the 4th of July. The more people abuse the 4th of July with fireworks, the more fireworks restrictions you have. It's one of the things they're trying not to they ban the fireworks? No, they are, they're, 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 if they're, they're thinking about it in California, putting a halt to all fireworks displays and everything this 4th because of the fire problems. But uh, cell phones, basically you're allowed to use them as a courtesy. It's just the same thing as they give you a driver's license doesn't mean that you have, it's not an inalienable right to have a driver's license. It's not an inalienable right to have a cell phone in your car. It could be taken away. Mm -hmm. And you know, they figure with it, they said, they hope that the, they, they hope the law will save 300 lives. But the problem is a lot of people that have had the accidents have also had hands free and distraction oh, and, the accidents. And part of it is, is I have heard that if you are on a cell phone and you have an accident, then you're automatically at fault. That's right. Is that true? That's right. You know, because if they see that, you know, if, if, you're, if somebody says you were talking on a cell phone, hand freeze or not, you're screwed. Your insurance company, at the very least, of course is you kind of talking to yourself. Yeah, it doesn't make it. <laughs> okay, it's the same thing. If you are listening, if you have an iPod stuck in your ears, you have an accident, it's the same thing as talking on a cell phone, hands free. Oh, that's true. Wow. Right. So, uh, you know, the best thing to do, okay, the very best advice we can give anybody besides not drinking and driving is don't use the cell phone in your car to begin with. Shut the thing off because, and drive. I mean, I you know, can I... live without, you live without cell phones before cell phones existed. You don't need a cell phone to drive in your car. You don't? No, you don't. You don't need to talk to somebody yes, when you're You always catch up with people. I know, but, but you don't. You know, really you got to exercise some of that caution anyway. Now, there are some exemptions to this. Now, if you are under the age of 18, yes, you really need, need to pay attention because on some of them, whether you're hands free or not, you cannot drive with a cell phone. Okay, hands free or not. Um, also, you can use it in an emergency. Um, such as to call law enforcement, medical provider, fire department. Well, like that's what the cell phone is really great for. That's right. You know, if you to if, use it, but what it's, it's intention. That's right. It's intention. That's why you know all the police officers carry cell phones. We were talking to a gentleman yesterday at the Platteford Division. He had his regular communication device, but he had a cell phone as a as the emergency device. That's the cell phone is great. That's true. Now here's here's the stuff you really want to know about. What are the fines? Yeah. <laughs> Here in California, base fine for the first offense is twenty dollars, um, and it's fifty dollars for subsequent conviction. But with addition of penalty assessment, the total amount can be more than triple the base fine. The other part is a lot of times when they pull you over, it's not so much that they're going to pull you over for one thing. It's that. They, they check may pull, you. They'll check you and they may pull you over for multiple offenses all at the same time because maybe they can stop you and get you for three or four offenses and somebody else you can get from one. Yeah. So by doing that, you just give them more ammunition. Oh, and right? another good piece of advice. If you're at one of those stops, you know, at a sporting event or something at a don't drive up to the thing with the cell phone being used. Yeah. That is a That's real, I mean, they're going to yank you aside real quick. Because you know they're checking you for drinking already. Cell phone, you're just adding extra ammunition. That's right. So, oh, here's the other thing is, um, when you receive a violation point on your driver's license, if you're convicted, um, the conviction will appear on your driving record. So, the conviction for ha hands-free, right? If you're It's a portable offense. <laughs> That's a new one, a portable offense. What is that? It's a, no, reportable. It's a reportable it's a offense. Reportable offense, but they don't want no points. But, you know, but, you know we've got, there's more and more. We're going to talk about this more with, you know, the next few days before the moment. This is not a spring chick? And OCAM coming to you with the first the series of that not using cell phones in your cars. And check your local and state law. <laughs>